Hello everyone. Today I will introduce the statistic individual tree attributes function. This function is designed to perform attribute statistics and expansion on point clouds that have undergone normalization and point cloud segmentation, generating an individual tree attribute file. It can create new files or update existing ones. This tool is available under both ALS Forest and TLS Forest modules, catering to different methods of point cloud data collection. Choose the appropriate module based on your data collection method. For ALS data, activate the Statistic Individual Tree Attributes tool under the ALS tools in the ALS Forest module. The generated file formats include TreeEDB and CSV. Select the attributes you wish to compute, then click Next to proceed to specific parameter settings. The input point cloud should be the data that has undergone point cloud segmentation. Additionally, use filters to include only points above ground by 0.3 meters and trees taller than 2 meters. To compute attributes like altitude and slope, you'll need to add dim and slope files. Adding a reference point file allows computation of azimuth and distance for trees within a specified range. Finally, set the output path and click OK to initiate the process. Since the point cloud data here is collected using TLS equipment, statistical analysis is not performed. Next, let's explore the Statistic Individual Tree Attributes tool under the TLS Forest module. Activate the tool directly within this module and select the file format and individual tree attributes you wish to analyze. Compared to ALS Forest, TLS Forest includes additional attributes such as CBH, trunk curvature, trunk sections, and trunk volume. Choose the attributes for analysis and proceed to the next step. The input point cloud should be segmented as mentioned before. Filter settings are identical to those described under Airborne Laser Scanning, ALS Forest. Trunk class refers to the class of tree trunks present in the point cloud. The algorithm initially extracts trunks based on this class. Curvature and trunk volume display options are available only when attributes like trunk curvature, trunk sections, or trunk volume are selected. Layer height simplifies trunk morphology into a B-spline curve by segmenting based on curvature or length. Points below the minimum arc height are considered noise. Select whether to compute to treetop as per your needs. Note that point cloud data for computing curvature and trunk volume must have normalized elevation values. To compute attributes like altitude, slope, azimuth, and distance, at DAEM, slope, and reference point files respectively. Set the output path, click OK, and wait for the statistical results of individual tree attributes. Add data to the current project. Open the individual tree attribute statistics table to view results, and optionally edit or export the table fields. That concludes the comprehensive overview of the statistic individual tree attributes functionality. Thank you for watching.